All right, 112, folks. Uh, a little bit more on Unit 7. This is neither 31 or is it 32 or, or 30. Uh, this is between. Um, between is what's happening in the United States, uh, not so much on the world stage, but it affects the world stage. Uh, we know that George Herbert Walker Bush, uh, Bush 1, um, gets us involved in the Persian Gulf War. It's involved on an international front with the idea that we are trying to liberate Kuwait. Uh, Kuwait has been invaded by Iraq. Iraq um, was one of the people, uh, I mean, one of the countries we helped. At one particular point, uh, we propped up uh, Saddam Hussein in Iraq. Uh, we provided him with weapons. We provided him with technology. We provided him with a variety of information because what he was doing is he was fighting for us against Iran. And as long as he was fighting for us against Iran, he was our, our friend. Um, so that Iran-Iraq war lasts for a long time until it doesn't. And then what he does is he decides that he would rather go ahead and fight a war he can win. And so he's going to invade Kuwait because uh, traditionally they've always claimed Kuwait as part of their territory. Well, here's the thing. Kuwait is a major source of oil and also a friend of a friend of ours. They are a friend of Saudi Arabia, and they border Saudi Arabia. So when he uh, attacks Kuwait, that's going to trigger us. <clears throat> it's going to get us involved in an international front to uh, invade and help Kuwait. Uh, we're going to stage a TV war. Can't say it any other way. It's a TV war because it's going to play out. Um, look up shock and awe on the internet and you will see what I'm talking about because what we do is we let them know we come, we are coming. We let them know we are coming in force. We let them know where we are coming, when we are, are coming so that it can play out on the national media stage in such a way that we're going to go in and um, we're going to win in a devastating fashion against forces that are not really equipped to fight us on a national stage. We're going to declare uh, that we've won. Well, one of the things that we we're looking for is the reason we invaded because, you know, there, there were weapons of mass destruction. And we wanted to keep him from using weapons of mass destruction. Of course, we never find the weapons of mass destruction. But here's what happens is he brings us into the war. Um, we win, but he's only going to do so well. So what will happen is Bush will do well, but the economy will start to kind of quiver and fall apart. Um, he will be replaced by our next president. Our next president is going to be uh, William Jefferson Clinton. Yes, Bill Clinton. Here's the thing. Bill Clinton is a pretty smart, stupid guy. Uh, he's smart because what he does is he is going to run on economics. He's going to run on politics. He's going to run on finances. And what he will do is he will help the economy. He will reduce the national debt. Um, he will get reelected, and while he's being reelected, he's going to find out, oh gosh, the Republicans have a really good idea. The Republicans are stealing some of my votes. So what he's going to do is he's going to steal their political financial strategy and use it against them, and he's going to win. He's going to win hands down. Here's the fact, folks. Uh, uh, Bill Clinton and company um, are more financially responsible than they're given credit for. He's able to eliminate... Um, the national debt. He's able to create a surplus. Um, part of that is going to be cutting some corners. Part of that is making people more fiscally responsible. Part of that is making sure that we create a budget in such a way that we're not spending money we don't have. Now, all that's uh, done and said and a good thing. The problem is, is Bill Clinton is also, uh, how do I phrase this nicely? I think philander is probably the, the word I'll go with at this particular point. Uh, we know that uh, Bill Clinton um, and his wife Hillary were up to some financial shenanigans, some questionable things that happened before he was elected. They're going to end up being investigated in the process of being investigated. Some other things are going to happen. Some other accusations are going to be made. We end up with the Monica Lewinsky scandal. Apparently, the president has been uh, having a tete-a-tete. -tete. He has been... Uh, having an extramarital affair, or 12, um, along the way, and it's going to come to the uh, public, it's going to come to the court, it's going to come to such a way that uh, 
Monica Lewinsky is going to say, hey, listen, this is what happened. It happened in the Oval Office. It happened in the White House. It happened several times along the way. Here's the proof of it. And she does indeed have biological proof. I'm not going to get into that. She has supporting people who have heard her talk about it. And Bill Clinton is going to do something uh, which is stupid. They're going to go, boom, here's the proof. And he's going to say, no, I, I did not do that. Um, he is well known because where Nixon uh, is famous for saying, I am not a crook. Uh, Bill Clinton is uh, famous for saying, I did not have sex with that woman. Um, folks, I, I don't know what his definition is. I don't know what your definition is. I do know what my definition is. And yes, he did. And there's proof that he did. And it's going to eventually come down to the fact that he is going to be on trial. Um, that he is going to um, be impeached. He is going to be tried before the Senate in such a way that said, listen, it's not what it started out to be. They're not going to try him for being fiscally responsible. They're not going to try him uh, um, for breaking laws. They're going to try him for uh, lying about whether or not he fooled around uh, with this woman behind his wife's back um, in the Oval Office. Uh, again, none of my business. Uh, I don't care what you do and who you do it with while you're on the phone with the Russian president, as long as you can run my country in such a way that it's above board. Now, I don't agree with the stuff, but obviously there are some issues. Here's what happens. Uh, again, we can thank Richard Nixon for this. Bill Clinton, certainly not the first president um, to uh, have an extramarital affair. Certainly not, if you know anything about uh, Kennedy, if you know anything about Roosevelt, um, to do it in the White House even at that particular point. And yes, it is shocking, but um, he's the first one after Nixon, because Nixon opened up the policy, uh, he opened up the office to public ridicule. And so this happens at that particular point, that everything Bill Clinton did in a positive fashion is going to be flushed down the toilet because he uh, could not maintain himself and lied about something he shouldn't have lied about. Um, this is going to blow up. Uh, he's going to be impeached, but he's not going to be convicted. All right. Somebody in the upper levels is smart enough, just like they were smart enough just recently to say, yes, he did something wrong, but he didn't do anything truly illegal, and so we're not going to kick him out of office. What it does do is it results in uh, the second George Bush being president. All right, and uh, George Bush too will come in, and I look at it as the sequel, because George Bush is going to come in at this particular point, and he will... Um, run an effective campaign. He will run a somewhat effective office at this particular point, and he will launch Persian Gulf 2. Um, Persian Gulf 2 is important, folks. Uh, we did not finish what was happening in Persian Gulf 1, and what uh, we did do comes back to haunt us. Um, in the East, when we were involved in Iran, when we were involved in Iraq, uh, we were also involved in Afghanistan. We were involved in Saudi Arabia. We were um, helping people in uh, Cold War fashion in Afghanistan fight the Russians who had invaded because they were having their own bit of uh, Vietnam-style era. Uh, we equipped this group of people called Al-Qaeda. And Al-Qaeda, or Al-Qaeda, depending on how you want to go with it, is going to come back to haunt us because what's going to happen is when they win against the Russians, they're going to decide that we are imperialist as well. And we know that they're going to be responsible for the downfall um, of part of American society. They're going to, uh, thanks to, to um, Osama bin Laden, they're going to put together an attack plan and they're, they're going to um, attack the Twin Towers. They're the ones that are going to trigger triggered the uh, September 11th uh, attack. So I'll get into that shortly, but just realize that, that we are kind of connecting the dots at this particular point, that there's quite a string of presidents, quite a string of things that are happening. So um, I will pick up with chapter 32 next.